Hello, and welcome to a new Uni 3D tutorial land. And we're going to break away from all the classes and the hardcore learning new programming, and we're going to take it back to the basics a little bit. So this should be really cool, and I've thought about it, and it's really quick to do. So we're going to go up, and as you can see, if we press jump normally, it jumps, it takes a while, then it comes back down. And that's crap. It's not very good. Come on, we all can see. You're supposed to jump and then come instantly back down. So I did a bit of searching, and I found this. That if we turn our jump speed up, so if we go back to misc scripts, and turn our jump height up to, say, 25, you see it jumps much higher. But then watch how fast he comes down. So he instantly just bounces straight back down. And I'm thinking, hmm, we've messed with gravity a little bit. Because if you mess with rigid body, it is mass, it doesn't do anything. So we get land movement, and you'll see here where it does jump height, that's where it pushes the player up. It pushes it up by that height. So boom, perfect. But when it comes down here and applies the gravity, we've also said that the players jump high, and that's not very good. So what we're going to do up here is type var, gravity will be, and I believe that's a float for the character. Because we may as well get it roughly the same so we don't get It's an integer, okay then. So it will be an int, and we'll say equals 15 at first. So it's a lot more than it usually was, but not as much as 25. So we'll apply the gravity to it like that. Perfect. The time that time is so it smooths it. We could, we'll try it without it after as well. So the jump height will also increase. So we'll say instead of 4, we'll say it's 10. And the shopkeeper will say can as well, they're all human, they all can jump the same height. But then we'll do the double jump after. Damn, I ruined it. We're going to do a double jump anyway, make him able to double jump because it looks cool. So we've got our land, it should pop up in a minute saying gravity, like that, so we've got 15. Now if we press jump, boom, up. Perfect. There's a little hop in his step. So it jumps, but he doesn't jump very high, and that's not very good. So we're going to go to our missed scripts, and remember it didn't jump as high. So. There we go, boom. Jump up, jump down. So it's we could turn the gravity up a little bit more, so you're just playing with whatever he's got, so 20. So now it looks like he's actually jumping, so he jumps up. So maybe a little bit more. Oh, not 50. I know 50 is too strong. Boing. That's better. There we go, he's jumping, perfect. So 25 and 10 is our jump speeds. So turn that to 25, go back to our miss scripts, and 10. Perfect. So now let's make him double jump. Double jump is really, really easy to do. So we're going to go to our movement, land movement, and at the top we're going to create a new private boolean um, bar double jump equals, well, be boolean equals false. So we can't double... In fact, true. So we can double jump, yes. But we're going to put it outside of this. So if the character is control, character controller that is grounded, so he's hitting the floor, his double jump is activated. So we just put equals true. So he can double jump, but not now, obviously. So we press jump, he jumps up. Perfect. But then if we were to put another jump in here, it'd already be off the ground and it wouldn't work. So we put it outside of this. So we copy this and put it down here. And we put else and put this in here so else so if he's not grounded and he's in air and he presses jump again then we want him to push him up again but also turn double jump equals false so we can't double jump anymore if you don't turn that off you'll just be able to pre keep pressing jump and he'll keep going up 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 and never come back down it looks crap however there is one still one glitch with it Get button will get any state of the button. So if it's down, it'll record it. If it's up, it'll record it. If it's in between, it'll record it. If it's not being pressed, it might record it. And that's not what we want. So we're going to change it to get button down. And the reason we're using down and not up is because down just seems to work better. So we try it now. If we press jump, it'll come up, push him up. That it will be off grounded so it won't be as grounded it'll read this and if we press it again while we're in midair it'll push him up even more turn double jump off so he just falls simple and I'll also show you after what it looks like bouncing him up so we can walk in and we press jump boing and press jump again boing there we go boing boing haha -ha. so let's see if it works 
So we stand behind this wall, we can't see nothing, we press it once, we can't see anything, press it twice, and we still can't see anything, but you, you can see what I mean. Jump, jump. Press it. So we've now got double jump, it works. So now let's just experiment with it. So we'll turn double jump equals falls off. So it's always double jumping. So now you see we'll be able to fly. So we come on and we press jump. There you go, as you can see. We can't move forward though, because that's in the is grounded. And he's not grounded again. So if you want to move forward while you do it, you'll have to move it around. And we should be on top. Boom! We're now on top of this building. Perfect, look at that. So now if we're pushing forwards and try and go over the space station, that's what it looks like when you like turn to jump off. So if you want that, you can keep it. And if you're thinking about a jetpack like I did, we will eventually do it, don't worry. So let's turn time that delta time off and see what that does. It's always good to experiment. And yes, I did turn the double jump back off so we could see what it looked like. The problem is with this where I think it's on is because I've not actually tried this. I'm thinking it'll be too hard, like pushing down. As you can see then, it does it instantly. There's no waiting for it, so you can't even jump. So you do need to turn that that time on. But if you want him to have multiple jumps, maybe implement a third one. So double jump equals false. Um, but triple jump equals true or something. If you want a jetpack, we are eventually going to make it say world space and he starts to fly. We'll buy a jetpack. Really quick tutorial and really easy. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.